Last night during a CNN interview, we saw yet another example of how a name, something so personal and central to identity, can be mishandled. Vice President Kamala Harris's name was mispronounced. Now you might wonder, is it really that important? Yes, it is. Mispronouncing a black person's name is more than just a simple mistake. It can be a microaggression, which is a subtle but potent form of racism. It's a failure to recognize someone's full humanity. When a name is mispronounced repeatedly, it sends the message that the individual isn't important enough to warrant the effort to get it right. As a legal nurse consultant, I've seen how small these acts um, can have big, big consequences. In healthcare, for example, if professionals repeatedly mispronounce the patient's name, it can erode trust, create barriers to effective communication, and contribute to systemic biases that affect care. This isn't about perfection. It's about respect. Taking the time to learn and correctly pronounce someone's name is an act of acknowledgement and respect. It's a small step towards dismantling the ingrained biases that exist in our society. So next time you're unsure of how to say someone's name, ask, practice, and get it right. Because names matter. They're a powerful part of who we are.